This video is all about why Viltrux has stopped selling and making RF lenses, why you can't find them on their website anymore. Details coming up, but first, I encourage you to subscribe and choose all notifications so you're kept informed on the latest camera gear, news, and rumors. Photo Rumors recently broke a story about Viltrux no longer being able to make and sell RF mount products. Well, in that story, there was a leaked conversation between a customer service agent and a customer. And in that conversation, Viltrux said that we have been told by Canon to stop selling RF mount products. Conversation goes on to say that we're not the first company to be stopped. And this is the key part here. If Canon opens up permission in the future, there may be changes. So when I first heard about the story about needing permission from Canon, well, I thought it might be a bit suspect. After all, it could be easily photoshopped. It's not like this story couldn't be faked. So I thought, well, why not reach out to my contacts at Viltrux and find out the real reason behind why they're no longer selling or making RF mount lenses. And this is what they told me. The main reason is that Canon has not authorized other companies. We can no longer sell RF mount products without authorization. So we got confirmation. Viltrox and other third-party lens makers can no longer sell RF mount products without authorization. And it doesn't look like the authorization is coming anytime soon. So yes, you need permission. And no, Canon isn't granting permission. So there was a lot of questions surrounding the reason why. Why has Canon come down on these companies like a bag of wet hammers? And I speculated, and you speculated, that this is probably some sort of patent play. Well, today we have a leak from Canon Germany stating this. Shenzhen Zhuing Technology Company Limited manufactures autofocus lenses for the Canon RF mount under the brand Viltrox. Canon believes that these products infringe on their patent and design rights and therefore requested that the company stop all activities that infringe on Canon's intellectual property rights. So you are correct. It is a technology patent play. And because the patent was probably issued sometime between 2018 and 2016, Canon's got something like 15 to 13 years left on the patent. Will Canon hold off for another 13 to 15 years before third-party lens makers will be able to produce RF mount products? I don't think so. You see, this story has really blown up. I produced two videos on this already, and I did expect a bit of a backlash, but I had no idea how popular this story would be and how upset many of you are over this decision by Canon. In fact, I've seen countless comments stating that you're going to be switching from Canon over to Sony or Nikon, or that your future purchase for an R7 or other RF mount product is going to be delayed. And that's significant. I think Canon is watching this just like they watched their decision to pull 24 frames per second from many of their cameras back around 2019, and they very quickly reversed that. There's been an awful lot of uproar over this, and if you keep responding to Canon, if you keep providing feedback, calling up customer service and telling them that you're very upset over this, as many of you have done in the past, then there is a chance that Canon might grant permission sooner than later. But when? Do I think we're going to see any RF mount patents from third parties this year? Unlikely. What about 2023? Well, there's still a chance that we might get third-party RF lenses from Sigma and Tamron. These are very big companies. They're the leaders in the space. And there is a chance that either of these two companies could get authorization from Canon and produce lenses that are 100% compatible with the RF mount. The problem with reverse engineering patents, such as the RF mount technology patents, is that when Canon releases a firmware update, it can potentially break the compatibility because we don't know how these companies are doing it. They're not following Canon's APIs, for example. So there is a chance that they can break. And I've received comments from many of you stating that your old Samyang lenses are no longer working after a firmware update. So back to our timeline. 2022, I definitely don't think so. 2023, there is a chance. But I think we're definitely going to start to see third-party RF lenses sometime over the next two to three years, or maybe as far as five years out. But they are eventually coming. The only question is, are we going to have to wait 13 to 15 years, or could Canon grant permission a little sooner? And again, it goes back to all that frustration. I've seen all the comments, all the feedback. And I'm not the only outlet that's receiving that. I'm sure Canon is receiving it. Canon Canada, Canon UK, Canon Germany, Canon Japan, and Canon USA. The more upset you are and the more you voice that at other channels at Canon directly, well, that might put pressure on them to reconsider their decision to grant authorization. Some of you, and actually about 50% of you, due to a recent poll that I put out on this channel, 
aren't too terribly upset over this. Yes, you're a little bit frustrated, but it really doesn't affect your work because, well, you're looking for the best in optics. And for you, that means the L series lenses. And even myself, I use an awful lot of L series lenses, but still banning or not giving authorization to produce RF mount lenses does affect the pricing because with competition comes better pricing, becomes more options. And even if we're only purchasing RF mount lenses from the L series, well, having competition in the market will help lower the prices a little bit. And everything we're seeing right now due to inflation all around the world, we're seeing prices go up with inflation at running around 10%, and that's painful. We're seeing everything going up from camera bodies to lenses to fuel, and it's a very, very frustrating time. So to remove competition from the market is not working for any of us. And for the 50% that aren't willing to tolerate the price increases, that aren't happy about purchasing RF lenses because, well, for whatever reason, whether it be budget or otherwise, there's a huge segment of this market that is ready to leave Canon to Sony, Nikon, or somebody else over this. They're frustrated, and I understand their frustration. But if you want to stay up to date on this story or other camera news and rumors, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, but make sure you also choose all notifications. By choosing all notifications, as soon as I publish a new video like this one here, you'll get notified by YouTube, so that way you can stay up to date on the latest camera news and rumors. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.